We have a great update to a story we brought you months ago about an Illinois high school coach. He took to social media to plead for a kidney donation for his son. He finally found one, his own. News 4's Paige Holsey brings us the story just in time for Donate Life Day. Walk through the halls of Lebanon High School in Illinois and you'll quickly find everyone is rooting for Team Jackson. Jackson is a very kind-hearted good spirited person. Jackson was born with posterior urethral valve disorder, which prevented his kidneys from fully forming in the womb. But now the shy freshman is <laughs> bouncing back after his second kidney transplant. In this case, he, re he received a living donor transplant and that is on average um, will last twice as long for him. The donor, his dad. He had told me that he feels better than he's ever felt. The athletic director at the same school as Jackson had once been ruled out because of high blood pressure. I don't know how or why, but my numbers just went with where they were supposed to, so I just think it was one of those things that was just meant to be. For Jackson's transplant in February, his dad was here at SLU Hospital, and as soon as they removed his kidney, they rushed it through an underground tunnel right here to Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital, where Jackson was waiting. They had taken Jackson to surgery, and so I was going over to be with Chad when he got out of surgery, and as I'm coming through the doorway of the tunnel, the kidneys coming through. So that was very cool. On this National Donate Life Day, the team that pulled off Jackson's transplant is asking others to consider a life-saving gift. So there are more than 100,000 people on the list for a transplant, and so it would be great if um, more people could come forward to try to solve that need. Back home now, Jackson is being closely monitored to make sure his body doesn't reject his new kidney. But the teen responds with a grin to say how much better he already feels. I hope this kidney lasts a long time, <laughs> and I hope that he he does everything he wants to in life. In Lebanon, Illinois, Paige Holsey, News 4.